we have to know one lateral rotator of the however billion number of lateral rotators there are. We're going to go look at multiple lateral rotators, and hopefully you'll be like, yep, I know the one we have to know. What is the action of the lateral rotators? We laterally rotate the thigh. Now think about that for a second. Before I tell you anything else, where are you going to expect to find this guy? Well, we have one attachment on a lateral rotator. They almost all attach somewhere on the sacrum. And I'm going to tell you that to enable lateral rotation, they kind of attach, this one, piriformis, attaches to the anterior aspect of the sacrum, and we'll go look at that. The other attachment has to be if we're laterally rotating the thigh, what bone are we going to attach to? You know we're going to attach to the greater trochanter. Boom. Now let's go check this guy out. Right, oh, see all that? Don't you see piriformis in there? No. Piriformis is hidden by gluteus maximus first. Get it out of the way. Peekaboo. Look, you can kind of see where it is. Those look like lateral rotators to me. Bye-bye. Look, right there is piriformis, and I think we have to get rid of some other stuff before it will label it for us. Let's get rid of a whole bunch of other stuff just so we don't get distracted. Oops, not that much stuff. You can see that we're attaching to the sacrum, and you can see that we're attaching to the greater trochanter. You can imagine if we attach on the anterior side of the sacrum, you can totally visualize how lateral rotation is going to take place. Um, piriformis is an interesting one and is clinically significant because it snuggles next to all of these other lateral rotators. And the muscle, excuse me, the nerve that comes down, it like comes between piriformis and these other lateral rotators is the sciatic nerve. And so if you have piriformis issues, your piriformis gets tight, it will squish down on your sciatic nerve and cause the condition known as sciatica, which is just a pissed off sciatic nerve. When we look at our bodies, I, I am shocked at the size of the sciatic nerve. It is, it's huge. It's like the size of a pencil. I mean, it's like, it's ridiculous. And it innervates, it's responsible for your whole leg. So I guess it makes sense that it should be really gigantic, but there's going to be some serious consequences if you uh, are squishing it. So you can imagine to massage something like that, you've got to do the magic of going through, holy crap, all that stuff. Yeah, so that's a real fun experience if you are having your piriformis uh, worked on. Hmm, how is that for a nice quickie one? We've got three foot movers. Count them, three. I'll be right back to move your foot.